The musical Still Standing features an American actress who tells about her secrets to surviving whatever life throws at her, including losing her leg. The critically acclaimed musical has been performed at the White House, and this month people in South Korea will be able to watch the show. Lee Kyung-un reports. American actress Anita Holander has been through a lot in her life. In 1977, Holander was diagnosed with cancer, went through chemotherapy and radiotherapy, and at just 26 years old, she had a leg amputated. As a theatrical performer, she decided to talk about her struggles through acting, challenging misconceptions about actors with disabilities. In her solo musical Still Standing, a musical survival guide for life's catastrophes, Holander conveys the secrets of her persistence through original songs. And she does it with humor, which makes her a powerful disability activist as well as life coach. Messages get in much easier when you're laughing. They laugh, they learn. And I think that that's how we, we get through stuff by humor. A great message for people with disabilities, but everybody's got something. From December 5th to the 7th, Holander will perform the musical at the Korea Disability Arts and Culture Center, EM, located in Seoul's theatrical hub, Taeyangno. This local foreign collaboration is expected to offer a rare chance for people to experience a critically acclaimed overseas performance while taking away value of life lessons. The organizer has also invited prominent disability arts activists from other countries who will exchange views on ways to strengthen the industry. There's a misperception that disability means charity or less professional. Push down that stereotype and break through those walls to say, we have disabilities, but we are just as professional and incredible and hardworking as anyone else. And South Korea also gives them much inspiration to take home. Leadership here um, allows people with disabilities to speak for themselves and represent themselves. And often that doesn't happen yet in the United States. The two-week international showcase will also feature Australian musical Forget to Remember to Forget from December 11th to the 14th. This kind of event gives artists from different backgrounds a chance to showcase their talent while changing people's conception of disabilities through the art. Lee Kyung-un, Arirang News.